Hey everybody, this is TJR. Songs you need to hear now will not be seen this week so that I can do the following. A number of people have asked me what I think of the new single by Greta Von Fleet entitled When the Curtain Falls. And I thought to myself, as long as I'm doing a reaction video, I will also do a follow-up to the video that I did a while back entitled Led Zeppelin vs. Greta Von Fleet. Now in that video, I made a comparison between Greta Von Fleet and an 80s band called Kingdom Come. Kingdom Come was a band that also sounded a lot like Led Zeppelin. And like Greta Von Fleet, they at first received a tremendous amount of joy and acceptance from rock music fans. However, they did get a lot of negative backlash from musicians. A lot of the musicians that I worked with at the time openly mocked them. And my reaction back then was, I'd rather hear a band that's really good at imitating Led Zeppelin than a lot of the crap that makes it on the radio. This was back in the 80s. Here we are in the 21st century, and we now have another band that sounds surprisingly like Led Zeppelin doing really good songs that sound like Led Zeppelin. And back in December of last year, when I made my first reaction video to this band, I mentioned that while at the moment they're experiencing nothing but critical praise, there could be a backlash on the way. Well, that backlash has begun, and it's mostly coming from musicians once again. Being a guitarist, I've certainly noticed some of this backlash on various different guitar forums. And my personal feeling about most of the negative backlash that I have seen, and particularly those coming from musicians, is that these are just bitter individuals. Bitter and jealous that these kids are famous and they're not. And also, these are kids, and they're playing really well. And I'm going to guess they're probably playing a whole lot better than a lot of the embittered musicians who are leaving these negative comments. Now, there has also been some negative backlash from individuals who are not musicians. A good example of this is a recent comment I read while watching a live video of them on YouTube. This commenter stated, Wow, Jimmy Page sure does write good music. And whenever I read one of these comments, they all have exactly the same point of view. I'm intellectually superior from the rest of you because I can tell that this band sounds just like Led Zeppelin. Thanks for pointing that out to us, Chuckles. I'm sure none of their fans realize that. Now, that doesn't mean there isn't anything to critique or criticize Greta Van Fleet about, but so far, my only criticisms for the band are speculative and not in the moment. So far, Greta Van Fleet has managed quite the balancing act. And let me veer off for just a moment so that I can better explain what I mean by this. Over 10 years ago, I really wanted to write songs in a 1950s rock and roll style. Now, the big challenge to this was evoking the time period without actually copying a song that was written from that time period, especially when so many of those songs use the same chord progressions. It wasn't at all easy, but I was only trying to invoke the era and not a specific artist like, say, Jerry Lee Lewis or Little Richard or Elvis Presley. Greta Von Fleet is evoking a specific band, Led Zeppelin. And what they're doing is not the same thing as a tribute band. They have to write new, original songs. They have to make sure that none of the songs that they create sound too much like any past specific Led Zeppelin songs. Now, this would be so easy to do badly, but Greta Von Fleet has managed to do it extremely well. Once again, I don't think most people and most musicians realize just how hard this is to do. So whenever I listen to a band that is a sound-alike of another very famous band, and I should also mention, Greta Van Fleet is not the first sound-alike band that I've ever heard. Some years back, I reviewed an album entitled No Guts, No Glory by what is essentially an ACDC clone band called Airborne. And when I listened to that album, I said to myself, Forget the fact that they are a sound-alike of ACDC. Concentrate on the songs. And I asked myself, if these songs were coming from the real ACDC versus a sound-alike band, would I like them? In the case of No Guts, No Glory by Airborne, the answer was yes. And this also ended up being the case with Greta Van Fleet's 2017 release from The Fires and with the release of this new single, When the Curtain Falls. So now you know that I do like the song. It's another really solid Zeppelin-esque original song. 
Now in the Hey Guys, I think you're getting a little too close department. That opening chord does remind me a lot of the opening chord of A Hard Day's Night. But after that, guitarist John Kiska delivers a solid guitar riff to build the rest of the song around. Once again, the riff sounds like it could have been written by Jimmy Page back in the 70s, but it doesn't sound specifically like anything that Jimmy Page has ever written before. Once again, no easy feat. Now, maybe it was just how the song was recorded, but I found myself noticing the bass and drums more than I had on their previous release. When I listened to From the Fires, I mainly noticed the guitar and vocals. So either the bass player and drummer are upping their game, which is a good thing, or they found a recording engineer or producer who is better able to showcase the bass and drums within the context of the rest of the band. This is also a good thing. Vocalist Josh Kiska delivers all the correct vocal nuances that Robert Plant would. There are even moments where he pauses in places where you'd expect him to sing the next line, something that Robert Plant would also do from time to time. And he manages to deliver a vocal melody that evokes Robert Plant and evokes Led Zeppelin, but does not actually copy an exact melody that Robert Plant has created in the past. Once again, not an easy thing. And that leads to my one bit of speculative criticism that I mentioned earlier. How long can they keep this up? And more importantly, how long will they want to keep it up? Greta Van Fleet may be a sound alike of Led Zeppelin, but I've never sensed anything false about that. Certainly Led Zeppelin was an influence, but I don't think there was ever this deliberate plan. They sound like Led Zeppelin, not because they planned it, but because that's just how they happen to sound. And I think that's why they keep winning. I think that's why From the Fires worked. And I think that's why When the Curtain Falls works. And I think it's why they can get away with sounding just like Led Zeppelin. But with that said, if they do remain true to themselves, there could come that time when their sound just naturally evolves and changes, like any band does. And this is because somewhere, artistically, they're going to feel like, hey, we've done this, where do we go now? And this will be no small feat either, because I'm sure there will be a lot of pressure from their label to just keep sounding the way they sound. And also, a lot of fans may not want to hear them evolve and change. Kingdom Come stopped sounding like Led Zeppelin quite some time ago. And they lost a lot of the fan base that wanted them to keep sounding that way. And then again, who knows, maybe all they'll ever really want artistically is to just keep making a better version of what they're already doing. As long as it's coming from a real place, I'm fine with it. For all these reasons, I'm curious to see what they'll do next. But in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy When the Curtain Falls. This is TJR, and what do you think? I'm looking forward to reading your comments. If you like what I do, please click subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon so you can be notified as to when I release new videos. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye-bye.